So, you're in high school and you're pursuing science. So, what are the career options that are open to you after you complete your 12th standard? Well, the good news is that there are plenty of options. And the bad news is that you'll need to work hard to get there. But don't worry, let me make this very easy for you. It's a Friday once again and today I will talk to you about five lucrative and interesting careers in full detail after doing science in school. We're going to talk about the types of jobs that you can get in each of these five, the courses that you would need to do after 12th for each of these careers, the top colleges and institutions that offer such courses and finally at the end of this video as a bonus I'll briefly talk about five additional exciting careers. So let's get going. Hey this is Chetna and you're watching Chet Chat and you can also find this content as a video podcast on Skill Up with Chet Chat available exclusively on Spotify. Let's get to the five careers quickly. Career number one is data science. Data science is all about, you know, kind of analyzing and interpreting data to solve complex problems. Basically, what you're going to need is strong math and computer science skills. What kind of jobs do you get? You could work as a data scientist, you could work in industries like finance, healthcare or tech primarily, but you could work in a number of other industries as well. You could work with big data, machine learning or data mining, and you're going to help companies make better business decisions. You could perhaps be part of a team that builds AI chatbots. Another option perhaps could be to pursue a PhD later on and consider being a professor. The possibilities are endless. What courses do you need to do? A BSc degree in computer science, mathematics, statistics perhaps would work or a BTech in computer science. And later you can specialize in data science by taking up a master's program. The top institutes where you can study could be any engineering or science colleges. The IITs, NITs, Triple ITs, SRM Chennai, BITS, DCE, BJTI. You can in fact also do some short courses or diploma courses. Here the main points are summarized for you on the screen and you can take a screenshot for your reference. Also, we have two very good videos on the channel already on what to do after 10th and how to choose your career. So make sure you go back and take a look at them as well later. And do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you get to see all the cool content that I make for you. Career number two is biotechnology. Biotechnology is all about using living organisms or parts of living organisms and technology to create new products and solve problems. You'll probably get to work with cells, genes and proteins. You might even get to create a new superfood. What kind of jobs do you get? As a biotechnologist, you could work in research and development, production, quality control or even sales and marketing. You might uh, end up working on developing new drugs or vaccines or maybe create new types of genetically modified crops. And who knows, maybe you'll be the one to cure cancer. Another option is always to get into academics by doing a PhD. The courses that you need to do to get started with biotechnology could be a BSc or a BTech in biotechnology or maybe in biochemistry or even molecular biology. Typically, all B.Tech courses will need an entrance exam like J.E. B.Sc. programs may have a direct admission. Top institutes are the same, the IITs, NITs, Triple ITs, BITs or Delhi University. Once again, you can also find short courses or diploma courses to get you started. Drop me a comment below and tell me which careers you want me to feature going forward. And meantime, I would like to give a shout out to Smile Please for leaving this motivational message under my last video. And you know exactly what to do if you want a shout out in my next video. Press the like button and leave me a comment below with the hashtag Chet Chatters. Career number three is Forensic Science. If you're into solving mysteries, then Forensic Science might be for you. You'll get to work with evidence and use science to solve crimes. Think CID, but in real life. And who knows, maybe you'll be the one to solve the next big case. What kind of jobs will you get? You could work as a forensic scientist, forensic pathologist, or a crime scene investigator. You might examine evidence, perform autopsies, or even analyze DNA samples. Uh, the job opportunities in forensics are increasing in India with the rise in both crime and technology. 
what courses do I need to do? Uh, a BSc or an MSc in Forensic Science or even a diploma or a postgraduate diploma in Forensic Science works. Top institutes are University of Delhi, there's Amity Institute of Forensic Science, there's a National Institute of Criminology and Forensic Science, there's also Gujarat Forensic Science University. Career number four is ethical hacking and cyber security. For those of you who love technology and want to make the world a safer place, ethical hacking and cyber security might be your perfect career. Uh, the jobs that you're going to get, you could work in tech, finance, healthcare or the government. You could be responsible for monitoring computer systems, for identifying potential security threats and even developing solutions to keep hackers out. In this field, you need to kind of keep upskilling and upgrading yourself. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one to prevent the next big hack. The courses you need to do are a B.Tech in Computer Science, maybe with a specialization in cybersecurity or a B.Sc. in cybersecurity. Or you could do a regular engineering and then later maybe do an M.Tech in cybersecurity and incident response. Or you could do a postgraduate diploma in cybersecurity. You could even do a certified uh, ethical hacker course. Uh, the institutes that are famous for this are the Indian School of Ethical Hacking, Institute of Information Security and all engineering colleges. Career number five is food technology. If you're a foodie and you love science, then this might just be your perfect career. You'll get to create new foods. Maybe you want to improve on the existing ones. Maybe you want to work on sustainable food production. Plus, you might get to taste your own creations. <laughs> the jobs you could do as a food technologist, you could work in industries like food processing, you could be in research and development or in quality control. You might end up working on creating new flavors or you know, just improving the food safety standards or perhaps developing new types of packaging. What kind of courses do you need to do? A B.Tech or a B.Sc or an M.Tech or an M.Sc in food technology or a postgraduate diploma in food safety and quality management. Top institutes for food technology are NIFTEM, the National Institute of Food Technology, Entrepreneurship and Management, or the Institute of Chemical Technology, ICT in Mumbai, or CFTRI, Central Food Technological Research Institute. Now, those were my five careers that you can follow after science. Of course, there is engineering and medicine, but now I'm going to share with you five bonus careers that are unusual, lucrative and very interesting. At number one, environmental science. Here you'll get to learn about maybe climate change, pollution and conservation. Plus, you might get to wear a cool safari hat and pretend that you're Indiana Jones. Career number two, AI ML. If you're a fan of sci-fi movies, then artificial intelligence and machine learning might just be right up your alley. You can study these fields at top institutes like the IITs, NITs, IIITs, SRM, the names we've taken so far or any other engineering institute. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one to create the next Terminator. Career number three is astrophysics. If you're fascinated by space and the cosmos, you'll get to study everything from black holes to quasars. And maybe you'll be the one to discover a new planet someday. Career number four is nanotechnology. That's another fast growing career, which is where you can get to sort of study everything nano, you know, really, really small, like really, really small. And maybe you'll be the one to create the world's tiniest computer. Career number five, the fifth bonus career is marine biology. You'll get to study all sorts of cool sea creatures from dolphins to sharks to jellyfish. Don't forget your scuba gear and your sunscreen. So there you have it, science students. There are plenty of career options available for you in India. Just remember, work hard, study hard, and don't forget to leave me a comment below if you want more such videos.